This video is brought to you by Poda Water. Tastes like crap, but it won't kill you. come to my attention that some of you out there feel I have somehow grown out of touch. That I'm an elitist. That I sit around inside my luxurious 16 year old trailer snacking on lobster tail and Grey Poupon, sipping champagne and hanging out with premium lithium battery power packs. Nothing could be further from the truth. Recently, I reviewed the Max Oak Bluetti. Sounds Italian. <laughs> EB150, a massive 1500 watt hour lithium power pack. And a lot of you complained, not so much about the product itself, but about the cost of the product, because this guy ain't cheap. But I am a man of the people. And that's why we're taking a look at the Bluetti AC50, a 500 watt hour power pack that's paired with a 300 watt inverter. So it's about roughly one third the size and capacity of the big boy, and it's roughly one third the cost. It's much lighter in weight, much more portable. The difference is really in capacity and output. This has an inverter built in that outputs clean sine wave power at up to about 300 watts. This has a 1000 watt inverter inside of it. With this device, you can do much of the same that you could do with this one. So this is a much more affordable and portable option. And this one has a couple of features that this does not. So I have here the Bluetti AC50 in its carry case which was apparently designed by a Miami Dolphins fan. Uh, but it's a nice little case. Supposedly it's water resistant at the very least. And it has a pocket on the front. And in that pocket I've stuffed the various cables that come with the unit. And I was just going to point out they include a DC charging cable so you can charge your unit in your tow vehicle if you choose. Or if you're in a camper van or even if you're tent camping, just charge it while you're riding down the highway. They include a solar panel connection cable, and if you have portable solar panels, you can use this to plug into your solar panels and just go solar, recharge it using solar. They also include a USB-C charge cable. Uh, and, you know, the carry case is nice. I always like it when manufacturers include a carry case, but it has convenient carry handles built into the top that just fold up and then fold down flat. If you want, you can use the top to charge your cell phone. So now uh, my cell phone is being recharged. You can just set your cell phone on top and it'll start getting a charge. And you can see I'm currently at 78%. So that's a great feature that's not included on the larger Blue Eddy. I like that all of the outputs are located on one side of the unit because it's just kind of a logical layout. And on the back of the unit, there is an AC input. There's also an area with an LED lamp feature, or if you're stuck in the snow in Yellowstone, you could use it as an emergency flashing beacon. Flashback. On the upper right, we have a 12 volt DC, your good old fashioned cigarette lighter style. We also have a pair of AC outlets. We have four USB 5 volt 3 amp outlets. And here is the USB C 45 watt DC outlet. And then up top, again, there's DC out. It has 500 watt hours of output. So you got to do a little math. If you have, for example, a 100 watt appliance, you could run it for five hours, right? You just take 
the power consumption divided into 500. With a 75 watt TV set, for example, you could get 6.6 .6 hours of watching TV. So we've been camping for much of the last month with no electrical connection or hookup. I've been using these things as like having an extra house battery. Certainly, if you're traveling uh, with a tent or in a camper van, or if you have a smaller RV, and especially if you don't have any kind of like solar setup, then having some of these extra batteries can really come in handy. So first I'm gonna power up the Bluetti. You can see there's a really nice LCD display and I'm gonna power up AC current. And I'm going to fire up the Vitamix right now. Oh, this is, oh, sad. We hit the wall. I saw the wattage going up above uh, 400. So I'm gonna to attempt to blend now using adjustable power on the Vitamix. So this Vitamix has power settings that go from one to 10. I've got it right at two right now, and it's demanding about 350 watts of power, which is really above the 300 watt rating here. But Bluetti Jr. is hanging in there. I would have to say it's working. Yeah. It's just gonna be more of a time consuming process because you can't crank the power all the way up to 10. You dial it up to three. Still working. Now we're up at about 400 watts. I'm really kind of expecting the Blue Eddy to overload, but it's hanging in there. Smoothie is looking to be pretty much done. I'm gonna dial it up and just until we hit overload just to see how long it takes. Four setting. So four out of ten will overload Blue Eddie Jr. But let's look inside and you can see did a pretty respectable job. It's just gonna take longer because you have to use the lower power settings on a blender like this. Where are you from? We're from Beijing. Beijing. Ah, Beijing. Right yeah. there. Have you been there? We've been to Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Maybe uh, next year we'll go there. Oh, yeah. 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 We went to uh, Thailand. Yeah. 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 All right guys, so now we're gonna see if Blue Eddie Jr. is up to the task of inflating a tire. Here it goes. All right, so I'm gonna say that Blue Eddie Jr. passes the air compressor test with flying colors, no problem whatsoever. So now we have the Blue Eddie doing a little more heavy lifting. I'm recharging my phone battery, recharging a camera battery, and recharging a drone battery. And you can see it's being asked to send about 104 watts of AC just to recharge that drone battery. So it's pretty light demand from a DC standpoint, just recharging the camera batteries and the phone, but that drone battery is demanding about 105 watts. And you can hear these cooling fans have kicked on. So there are cooling vents on either side of the unit that circulate air through the unit. And now 
I want to show you something. I'm going to plug the unit up to AC input. We have shore power and you can see the unit is receiving 86 watts of input. And you can see on the LCD display that the battery is recharging while simultaneously being pulled down by the drone battery and the phone and the camera. But I really like the flexibility of this because some of these units can't be recharged at the same time you're drawing. These Blue Eddy definitely can and that's a really nice usability feature. That's it guys, a look at the Bluetti AC50 power brick. We'll call him Bluetti Jr. If you don't want to fork out the big dollars for the big boy in blue over here, you could spend a lot less. You don't have quite the longevity and capacity in this smaller unit, but you can do a lot of the same tasks with this one. And it's much more portable. So for some of you, this is going to be the better choice. But that's what makes life great. We have choices. Mm, hot dog, better than lobster tail. It really is. Beer, better than champagne. Sorry, that was a big bite. <laughs> This video is brought to you by Potawatta. Tastes like crap, but it won't kill you.